The Ministry of Education, in collaboration with the National Identification and Registration Authority, NIRA, embarked on a 90-day registration of all pupils and students in primary, post-primary, secondary, and post-secondary on May 29th. NIRA's target was to register 11 million learners and has so far dispatched 8 million forms to various regions of the country. However, close to a month into the exercise, only 500,000 pupils and students have registered. Close to 500,000 which is way below our target. But uh, we are working hard to catch up with our target within the next three or so weeks. I asked why there is a slow uptake to the exercise which targets children between the ages of 5 and 16 years. A major challenge has been the appreciation of the parents um, in terms of the timeline for registration. Because we announced that the registration would take three months, uh, basically from 29th of May to 30th of August, there appears to be a misconception that uh, parents have everywhere have until 30th of August to have their children registered. would like to urge parents to comply. However, in some districts like Mbarara, there are claims that the registration forms are insufficient. As far as I know, there are sufficient forms from Barra District because the forms were made in accordance with the information that we had. According to Gamma, the head teachers of the various schools should collect registration forms from NIRA branch offices in the different districts. There is also a team from NIRA which distributes the forms, but some of them in Barra claim they have no transport. We have seen that the of presentation we don't have transport to take the kids to the orientation Money to the um, perhaps the issue has been with fuel, whether there's sufficient fuel for those vehicles. And we have completed the processes because we have to do things in accordance with the government uh, financial procedures. But what happens if some students don't meet the 30th of August deadline? They will be counted out of school. How will they be in school? Tell me, Sudir, what is it that would make it impossible? For a child to register. But that will be your consideration. But in actual sense, they will be in school. So how does that affect them? This name is the unique identifier. It will follow the child. So a child in P1 today will have that name follow them. If they transfer school, they'll have to transfer school with the name as the major um, eligibility information required by the new school. Among the head teachers, Opinion is also divided about the impact of the registration exercise on the education of the children. Taking many days in registration, it also has an effect on teaching. Because you can't teach a class when some few have gone out, things like that. We are, we are requesting government and the Ministry of Education that kindly extend this exercise up to the second week of third term. The parents have up to the end of the second term to complete the ID registration process. To register, the forms have to be submitted with a copy of a parent's national ID for Ugandan citizens, a copy of a parent's or guardian's passport for foreign pupils, and a refugee card for the refugee pupils. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.